So Final Fantasy 16, um, it's pretty interesting. It's on PlayStation 5 only for now. Um, meaning it's exclusively limited only for PlayStation 5 for about, I think, six months. And then next year we'll see it on PC. Um, so interesting about uh, Final Fantasy 16. Here I am on my C2, C2 OLED. Uh, there's two different modes. There's a graphics mode, which gives you that high resolution. And then there's a performance mode, which is this one, uh, 60 FPS. And um, in terms of graphics, even when you switch to performance mode, it's still going to be uh, looking good. The textures are not being sacrificed. The only thing you notice is that uh, resolution, it's a bit soft, just a slightly soft. But the, the kicker is the uh, performance of 60 FPS. And then you have um, a graphics mode. This is a frame rate mode. Then you got the graphics mode right here. So if you go to graphics mode, uh, you drop down to 30 FPS, but the image becomes a little bit more sharper. So it looks a bit sharper I don't know if you want to play I don't know who's gonna play on the graphics mode it's 30 FPS I mean yes it looks nice it looks sharp but I, I can't really <laughs> I can go back to 30 FPS man and there's absolutely nothing wrong playing this game on uh, on a 60 uh, I mean 60 FPS with a, a lower resolution I, I'm guessing it's a 1400p uh, or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I have to look at the Digital Foundry for that. All right, so we're going to go to a a performance mode. Frame rate mode, I'm sorry. There it is, frame rate mode. Yeah, this is, this is where you want to be. 60 FPS, frame rate mode looks just as good uh you're not gonna sacrifice in graphics the only difference is uh the graphics mode has that higher resolution and this is a bit lower resolution uh and i'm probably guessing uh 1440p 60 fps which is fine there's absolutely nothing wrong with 1440p upscale to uh, 4k with 60 fps so overall uh this looks great on the C2 OLED, I'm going to show you uh, briefly what uh, type of settings I'm using here on a C2. Uh, of course, I always have my uh, game mode on, game optimizer on, always. So, you see how automatically it is selected to role playing game and that's the beauty about the C2 uh, OLED. It automatically detects, hey, it's a uh, role-playing game. Well, there you go. So what type of pictures do I have here? Settings. Uh, we're going to get to that in a minute. But first, let me show you something that you need to do on a game optimizer. Uh, this is something that I have used on pretty much every game that I play on my C2 OLED. The black stabilizers at 7 and the white stabilizers at 9. What this basically does, it gives you a nice contrast between your uh, deep black levels and your white bright levels. Uh, you, I'm not crushing my black levels and I'm not over blowing my white levels here. So I have, you know, done a lot of time and effort to, to try to find that, you know, perfect uh, spot for the black stabilizer and white stabilizer and this is where I came up with seven and nine uh, seven for black stabilizer and nine for white stabilizer and trust me nothing's being crushed here your shadows will not be crushed you'll be able to see everything your white levels will not be crushed you'll be able to see the clouds just fine so trust me 
uh, you'll just have to uh, implement these settings. All right. And remember, my camera cannot depict uh, what your own two eyes will see. Keep that in mind. You know, I do these videos to give you my um, overview of the game and also to give you my recipe on what settings I'm using. All right. If you're going to judge, judge the picture of the picture quality of this television through a YouTube compressed video and this camera, well, then you're doing it wrong. All right, so let's go to the picture settings really quick. Uh, all right, so picture settings right here. I'll go to settings. Let's go to the advanced settings. All right, so brightness. Your black levels should be at 50. Your contrast at 100. And your dynamic tone mapping should be set to on. All right, moving on to uh, color. Your color depth should be at 50. Your color gamut should be auto detect. And fine tune, I would keep this at uh, high. This will help you get a more vivid uh, image and brighter uh, colors. Moving on to clarity. Clarity, it's your sharpness. Uh, this is no-brainer. Adjust sharpness to zero. I keep it at zero because that's where you want to be. I don't care if it's a 1440p. I don't care if it's 1600p. Upscale to 4K. It doesn't matter which method of dynamic resolution they're using to upscale or scale to 4K. You're still getting some sort of a 4K uh, resolution. So therefore, you got plenty of detail keep the keep the sharpness at zero and uh, that's what I'm using currently here and I haven't really uh, changed my settings I kept my settings hold on I kept my settings just the way they are since uh, the Legend of Zelda. When I did that Legend of Zelda video, those are exactly the same settings that I used on Legend of Zelda. The Tears of the Kingdom are essentially the same settings that I'm using here on the PlayStation 5, uh, Final Fantasy 16, C2 OLED. The graphics in this game are pretty uh, pretty amazing, though, I have to say. Wow, it almost looks like uh, Unreal Engine 5, honestly. Sounds like a Hans Zimmer score, honestly. Those crystals, I see. Very impressive, man, I have to say. And the way PlayStation 5 is handling uh, this game, it's uh, pretty impressive as well. Look at the graphics, man. Nice. Uh, who is she? Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. A 
you have his majesty's answer. Oh, it's it's a uh, oh, it's a he. Oh, my bad. I thought it was a she. <laughs> Well, you got me fooled. Something to do with the crystals. Now there's she. He looks like a big boss. I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides, your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights will only get him away. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Look at that, knights. What did you say? Who the hell is this? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? Thanos? The capital will lie exposed. This guy looks like Thanos. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. What's all the smoking thing? Smoking's bad for you, man. Jesus. Just leaves me. Coca. What do you call him, Coca? Iron blood will rule the day they set foot on stool. This game is over. Dude, I just started playing this game. What are you talking about? Oh my god, look at her booty. Good lord. You cock. What? <laughs> you cock. What? Benedict. <sighs> you cock. Take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. I'm not mm. afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. Benedicta and cock. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, it's getting steamy over here. Very impressive so far with the graphics and performance and uh, interesting story and very interesting characters and villains cock and benedicta <laughs> wow look at this 60 fps how awesome is this check check this out guys wow wow look at that That's fast. It's almost like a Call of Duty fast. Impressive. 60 FPS. What van? Wait. Something 
something's not right. What in the hell? Really? This is the first boss? Crystals? What? It's like the uh, Avengers Endgame. The guy looks like a nemesis, I swear to God. Legend of Zelda? By the way, this is all in-game engine, guys. All right, it's not like pre-rendered or anything like that. It's an in-game engine. Run, dude. Just run, man. What's... Run! Run, my friend. Uh, he won't be standing down. <laughs> Well, that was pretty cool. Brother? Well, I'm very impressed by what I have witnessed so far with Final Fantasy 16. This is a true next generation Final Fantasy 16. 
and it looks gorgeous on PlayStation 5. What can I tell you? Feel free to use those settings that I recommended here. If you have a C2 or C1. What is a knight's tail? <laughs> Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. All right, so there you have it, guys. Uh, this is my very first look into uh, Final Fantasy 16. Uh, I'm very impressed so far. Uh, and uh, I think this is going to be a huge hit, in my opinion. It's only on PlayStation 5, keep in mind. Uh, and it runs really good. Now, this will be eventually released on a PC next year. But this is pretty darn good, uh, what PlayStation 5 is doing here. Uh, very impressed. Um, I'm not sure what the resolution is. I'm guessing it's 1440p. Upscale to 4K at 60 FPS. Uh, I haven't watched Digital Foundry, so I don't know. But I'm very happy with what I'm seeing here. Uh, so go pick this up. I have rented this from Gamefly. And uh, Gamefly, listen, if you want to save money in these you know, economic, hard, harsh times, Gamefly is the best way to go. Save yourself, you know, $70, $70, $70, man. Save your money. So, uh, game fly all the way. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Have a good one. Cheers.